Thank you. 
Hello, thanks everybody for being here. Oh my God, seeing so many people from, uh, from family over to friends, to high school friends, to people from school here. Thank you all for coming. We are the Mets Foundation. This is Alfredo uh, Jimenez on the bass. <laughs> Tuomas Ruokonen on the drums. And I am Joel Metz. Thank you very much for coming. This is my master recital. This was a tune by myself, composed in uh, 2020, when times weren't so good, but I thought, okay, I'm gonna write something that makes it sound a bit better. So that was the simple song. And up next, we're gonna play uh, Pride Lands for you. Have fun.
Thank you very much, everybody. You're doing all right? I mean, you're doing all right? Good, good. Whew, I'm doing all right, too. I just need to breathe a bit. It's, uh, it's a lot of space to fill. Um, so those were two of my compositions that I wrote um, back, back in my bachelor's, actually, a couple of years ago. And um, the couple of songs that are going to follow now, I wrote them more recently. They were mostly about my research that I did uh, in these last two years here in Rotterdam. My research was about uh, multiphonics. And for those of you who don't know, on the saxophone you usually play one note at a time, like this. <laughs> and uh, there is a possibility to not do that by playing something like this. <laughs> and I thought, okay, that's kind of cool, right? I, I want to use that for my improvisations. And so I started going, starting my, my year here uh, and um, trying to find ways in which I could use that in my improvisations and compositions. And that's how the next tune came into existence and that's called uh, Multiphonic Waltz. Thank you. 
Thank you guys so much. This was a tune composed by our bass player Alfredo Jimenez. It was called Western Otter. Thank you guys so so much. Um, next up, we have a we have a very special piece. I my most recent piece actually. I composed that one uh, in regard of my research, and uh, my final step was how can I use these weird sounds, these these multiphonics that I showed you before, that have popped up sometimes now. Uh, how can I use them in a more artistic way? And that means how can I use them as efficiently that they don't sound weird in a tonal context, you know? And um, well, I had an interview with one of the composers from this school, and he told me any technique you're going to use in your music is only as strong as your wish to make it sound. So I went and I said, okay, what does this, <coughs> what does this mean to me? Where, where do I hear this? Like what, you know? And I found one term called ambiguity, something that's not quite dark and not, uh, not quite black, not cl quite r white, somewhere gray, somewhere undefined a bit, somewhere mysterious. So I was like, okay, I, uh, this is, this is mysterious to me. I know, it sounds crazy probably to you guys. <laughs> and um, I was like, okay, what else sounds mysterious to me? Well, chromaticism. What is chromaticism? Chromaticism are half steps. This are half steps. <laughs> this is mysterious to me. So I said, okay, how can I bring these two kind of weird things in the term of mystery together? And uh, I composed this tune, which is called Leap of Faith.
Thank you so much. I need some water. <laughs> All right. So that were the research kind of related songs. And um, we have two more songs for you. It's almost the end of the set. And uh, the next song is going to be an older tune of mine uh, where I, I was like thinking about all the lovely, nice processes in the world that happen every day and that I sometimes don't notice because I'm too stressed or that I, you know, just run over. And um, I want to dedicate this tune to a special person in this room who has been with me for the last two and a half years almost and who has experienced me in a very different kind of ways. Not always nice, also nice. And uh, this goes to my girlfriend, Isra. It's called Beneath the Surface. Thank you. 
Right, this is going to be uh, the most difficult moment of the evening. I have to say thank you to so many people. So, uh, let's start with the people close by, right behind me. My band, the Mets Foundation, Tuomas Rokonen on the drums. Thank you. We got Alfredo Jimenez on the bass. Thank you. Thanks to the people of this beautiful venue for managing everything. Thanks to the people of the sound. Without them, you wouldn't hear us. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you for arranging everything. Um, next to that, the people close to me, my family. Thank you for coming all the way from Luxembourg. It's really sweet of you. Thanks to my parents for their huge support during my six years of studying in the Netherlands. Thanks to my siblings that help me mentally and just like whenever I'm down or up. <laughs> to my grandparents here and also in Germany. To my friends, everybody that came tonight. You came from Amsterdam, from Finland, from Luxembourg, from The Hague. I'm, I'm, I'm overwhelmed. I'm super thankful that you're here. Thank you super much. And to my Dutch family, of course, as well, who came all the way from Harlem and from Zwolle. Thank you. Thank you super much. At last, I want to thank uh, the beautiful people that made me stand here today that hopefully see a bit of their teaching in my playing. Uh, they're all at the back of the room. Uh, I say thanks to Benjamin Hermann for his teaching. I say thanks to Niels van Haften and I say a big, big thanks to Tina Kapostma for being so, such an amazing teacher and a great coach and just a great listener. Thank you for all of your input. Thank you very much. This is going to be our last piece. It's called End Game. Have fun. And see you later for a drink.